Hey guys, it's me, Marquita, and I am starting a new playlist on my channel. The playlist is called Get to Know Me, and I will be answering questions, but I also would like to get to know y'all, so leave your questions and answer in the description below so that we can get to know each other. Hey everybody, it's me, Marquita, and today's question is, what is your first ever job? Okay, so le illegally, and it wasn't illegally, it was just not a legal job as far as through, like, um, I guess, a, a, not reach, okay, what am I trying to say, um, it wasn't, oh, I'll just say what it was. <laughs> It wasn't through a company. My mama used to date this guy. Rest in peace, Peter Gunn. So, um, he passed. Him, and I felt like I lost two dads at the exact same time. Because they both died on the exact same day. And both of my mama's ex-boyfriends. And I just, and I was very close to both of them. You know, like at different times in my life. As a kid, as a teenager, I was very close to Peter Gunn. And as an adult, I was very close to Murphy. So, when they both died on the same day, you know, like, not of the same thing. It was just a very horrible coincidence. I felt like I lost two dads at the exact same time. But... So when I was a teenager, you know, and before I became a teen, kind of, you know, I was like 12, 13, um, he used to wash cars, like, you know, and, um, like, during the summer or on the weekends, like, if he had a car to wash, then he always was like, okay, cut buddy, because that's what he always said, oh, cut buddy, get your bucket, we're going to go wash some cars, and then I would go with him, and we would go wash you know, a couple of the big boys. I'm not even going to say what the big boys did. But if you know what the big boys did, we go we go wash a couple of the big boys' um, cars. And he would, you know, he they would pay him in cash and so that he could pay me. But if I wasn't with him, he would not got paid in cash. Just saying. Um, but I used to love going to, um, wash cars with him. That was just so fun. And then I loved trying, like, and this is not a job, but like, I also, you know, was growing a little garden in my backyard. Now, if you know, I have always lived in the projects ever since I was three or two and a half, three. So, um, when I say that I grew a garden in my backyard, uh, it was, it was in the projects and like soon as something got big enough, people just come by because there's not no gate around it. It's literally like it's an open backyard. And people would just come by, oh, there's a tomato, and take my tomato. And I would be so mad. But I was also happy that it wasn't just going to waste. I was mad that I didn't get it. But I also, you know, was just happy that somebody was eating it. And I knew that, you know, and like one woman was like, you know, I took your tomato. And I'm just like, well, was it good? And she's like, she's like, yeah, well, you know, like I got it kind of early. And I was like, if it was a green tomato, like we're going to be fighting. She goes, no, 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 it was, it was kind of orange. It was, it wasn't green, but you know, so it wasn't fully red, but as long as it wasn't my green tomatoes. Now, my green tomatoes, I would fight you. Like, that's that's fighting words. 
and um you know green beans people just oh there's one hanging and snap it off anyhow i knew i knew it before you know i even did it that i don't have no fence around my around my garden even if i did literally our backyards are open there's no way that i could that i could fence off my little piece of backyard without literally having a permanent fence that nobody can't reach their hands through and that nobody can't move you know you know and but i did it literally just to see if i could grow something and then another thing that i used to do um i'm trying to think because that was making me think see the garden washing cars I can't think that was making me think of something but I can't remember what it was I don't know if it pops in my head y'all know I'll add it but my first legal job what I call legal at a company was at Wendy's on Kingston Pike that was my first job I was 17 and I worked there on Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 2 and I told them when I did this job I was like look I don't learn very fast so I cannot do rush hour because I don't understand things too clearly and they said okay we won't put you during rush hour well lunch is from 11 to 2 that's rush hour and they were just like oh well i thought that maybe when you get in and you would learn literally i worked there one saturday one sunday well i worked saturday sunday then i worked saturday and quit <laughs> so i worked there literally three days because i'm like i cannot do rush hour i cannot keep up like it's no like I'm telling you I'm not telling you because I'm a lazy person it's because you want me to talk to somebody while punching their order in on the computer while taking somebody's money at the window and giving them the correct change all at the same time I can type in the order but somebody else got to do like get them like talk on the uh you know, on the radio, you know, on the headset, and then somebody else got to fix the food. Like, I can't do all that by myself. I, no, put it back. You can get like one or two, but every time then, every time that I ask y'all to put some in, y'all say, okay, and then y'all never put any popsicles in. Get one or two. Them are the only frozen ones. Once the once there's a lot of frozen ones, I don't care for you to get a full sleeve. Oh, it's you can't bring it over to me to tear off with her. Well, go ahead. Go help her. Make sure that there's a lot of popsicles in there. I don't care for you to have a whole sleeve. It's just I put that sleeve in there personally. Because the one that you put in before it even got frozen, you kept taking scissors and pouring it in your cup. Hey, Did you get two sleeves? No, I'm I'm talking to Savannah. Put that in the freezer. Make sure that it's flat so that it can freeze. Okay, now put that flat. And then now you can, once them are frozen, then you can have a whole sleeve mound. Because I would really like some popsicles also. Just pop them right here. And so, yeah, so that was my very first legal job was um, Wendy's on Kingston Pike. And um, I really liked that job. I liked it because I felt like that I was independent, but I hated it because it was way too fast paced. 
So y'all tell me what y'all's first job was. And did you like it or was it hard for you?